From last 15 years, I've been trading and coaching into different tools, Microsoft Excel, Google Sheets, into Power BI and other tools. One common problem I've found in all the uh, students, in all the startups, they lack with human resources, in, especially in startups and the companies over there. They lack with the right resources who have the knowledge about formulas, functions, visuals, understanding data, analyzing visuals and many problems which people face. So here I found one particular tool which is a full stop for all the problems and an exclamation for all their emotions. They can find this particular tool which can help them scale up their business where they don't have to be dependent on a person who is more technically sound. A person with normal average English who has the knowledge about that domain can still ask questions and get the output. I'm talking about a tool named as Cordetic. Cordetic is a tool which is beautiful, which is easy to understand. One single screen, one single spreadsheet. It's a world's first AI powered spreadsheet that unites the Python, SQL, JavaScript and natural language into a single powerful platform. And the best part is no code required. Let's try to understand with the first example here. But remember, if you have not seen the part one of this video, I would suggest you to watch that first. Click on the link given in the description and just see the basic process of sign up, login process and basic important features. Once you do that, then you can start watching this video. So let's begin with the first step. Now you can just click on the attach file option to upload a data set. So we'll upload a PDF document and it's an existing document which I have. We can upload that particular data. Now here, once you upload the data, we'll just ask a question to that particular tool right now. We'll ask them, analyze the data from the given PDF. And what happens is it does the backend processing. It understands what I've asked the question based on the PDF. Now within few seconds, it will extract all the data and the visuals and give you the output in this particular format here. Now it's so beautiful that even if it is 100 pages, 50 pages of document, you just upload the data and you get the output on the right hand side visible here. Now what we can do here is we can keep on asking questions to that particular data. Here we'll ask a simple question. What is the total account value as of June 30, 2018? And how much of that is presented by unrealized gains? That's a simple question which is asked. Now what we'll do is it will understand the question, analyze the data, run a Python code at the backend, and then it will give me the answer. And you can see within few seconds, the answer has come up right here. So this is the beautiful place where you can get all the options and answers. A very simple and easy tool here. Now, what we can do is just to test, we'll ask a fake question. Okay, actually, there's no data related to this fake question. But let me ask a question. Let me try that thing. How did the revenue and the net income figure compare to the previous year? Now, please understand it's a fake question. I'll just enter. So once I enter, it will understand, it will process, go back to that document, which is 20, 30, 40 pages, whatever document size is. And then it will give me the answer. Now, just to test whether it gives the right answer or not. So I've asked a fake question and you see it says it doesn't have the answer. It has given all the explanation, which is very simple. So it's working fine. Some tools, even if you don't have the data, it tries to give the answer. But this is genuine. It's giving the answer over here. Now, the second data set, which is very delicate, which is close to my heart of Bangalore traffic data. And Bangalore, it's a very famous uh, city in the country and also famous for the traffic, uh, especially in Hebel airport area. You'll find the traffic in uh, wide field. It's easy to walk than to travel in the car uh, for those. So I've taken that data and you can see I'll just click on a file and then click on this new file and I'll upload the file from the right hand side corner. And you can see we can upload the data here. And now this is a traffic data which you see for the Bangalore. The timing is given, the area is given, uh, all the details are given at what time, how many vehicles are crossing over there. Now I'll try to ask a simple question to that data. So the first question I'll ask them, analyze the data and make a bar chart according to the area. Uh, this is a simple question. I have entered the prompt. It will take few seconds, uh, make the understanding, run a Python code at the back end. And you can see it is giving me beautiful visuals, column charts and other visuals. And it is trying to tell me which area, how much is the traffic. Okay, it's trying to understand the data and give me the output here. Okay, very simple. And based on that, now when the data is converted to information, then you can, uh, you know, take a decision based on which area you can keep a track on, on which particular area you should focus on, on what particular time you should focus on the traffic. Okay, that's very simple here. Let me ask another question. Analyze the data and make a line chart of vehicle count across different time slots in KR Puram. Enter the prompt here. 
again at the back end it will take some time process the data and then give you the output so you can see it is understanding okay the previous data okay what we have done the different color formats which are picked up and based on that it is giving the output of the column charts and pie charts if you see the color also matches of the previous data in this data so it remembers what question you have asked based on that it creates a correlation and tells you what is that next time over here so these are the vehicle count changes across different time slots and you can see there's a peak time when there's a uh, you know highest traffic in that particular area now let us ask one more question here the question would be let's create a pie chart or donut chart based on the percentage of total vehicles belong to that area okay once i enter the prompt uh, within few seconds at the back end the python code would be analyzed and you can see it will show me a percentage of total vehicles belonging to that particular area and uh, it tells me the details this area is having the maximum this particular area is having the minimum so it has given me the uh, you know distribution it has given me the differences in the percentage distribution as well so this is the pie chart and the donut chart what we have created and now let's see how do we create a chart based on the accident data area wise so now we'll ask a question to that particular tool that create a chart based on the accident data okay area wise so if maximum accidents are occurring in that area, what should be done? There should be maximum number of hospitals, maximum number of ambulances, uh, the contact numbers, or etc. We have to fix that road. We have to see what is the major reason for that uh, accident happening here. Now, we have entered the prompt. It's going at the back end, analyzing the data. Okay. Now, once you finish that, and you can see chart is prepared and it's giving us the data area wise which area is having the maximum accidents you can see that particular chart over here and this area is having the minimum this particular area is having the maximum now based on that if i understand the data if i have the visual presentation it becomes so easy for me to take a quick decision okay so data to decisions this is the most important thing where people lack it takes a lot of time if you have a data now if you have a visual now you can take a right decision so that the traffic becomes lower okay it becomes smoother for every person a common man to stay in Bangalore here so these are beautiful examples about this quadrity tool and uh, you can use this into your day-to-day -day life this is an example of pdf and uh, traffic data but you can use in various domains like hr domain operations you can use in the sales data you can use in the uh, finance data to understand and quickly take a decision i hope you have understood that's all for this video